right, Larry. EA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to the steel capital of the world, Pittsburgh, PA, and Heinz Field. Straight ahead, we've got a good one on tap here between the Atlanta... Falcons. And the Pittsburgh Steelers. Here's Bosher to kick it away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. six up past the 30 to the 31. Offensive linemen love creating space for their guys carrying the ball, but when that guy also breaks tackles and creates extra yardage, they almost feel like he's one of them, and they really embrace it. See if they stay on the ground for second down. 
And the D-line pinching together must be expecting the run. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he'll be limited to a short gain up to about the 34-yard line. A three-yard pickup on second and four. Now they'll need to convert here on third and a little more than a yard. They'll just play number three here on the opening drive, and it's an early third and one. In motion is Coates. Now it's Roethlisberger. And this is going to be incomplete. Really good, smart play by the defense, understanding third and short, guarding the first down sticks, and being able Able to make a play on the football and bat it down. And how about this one now? In their own territory, a gutsy call. They're going to go for this on fourth and a yard. There's Roethlisberger. He's going to air one out. And it is incomplete. A surprising move here on the opening drive of the game. And the Falcons will take control of the football in great field position. Atlanta now coming out on the field. Really nice starting field position here for the offensive unit. now Ryan on first down flush to his right and he'll take it into the end zone touchdown Atlanta Mohamed Sanu 33 yards and the Falcons have taken the early lead quarterback throws the fade and that's one where really the receiver just has to make a play right Brandon all you're asking your quarterback to do is let your guy get it and no one else that makes it a very very difficult play to defend let's field it a few yards into the end zone 
And he'll wind up about four yards shy of where he would have been if he had taken a knee as they'll start at the 21-yard line. And Pittsburgh getting set to take the field. And last time this unit was out here, costly turnover, and then that turned into six points. They've got to make amends. How many times have we sat in meetings with coaches and they use the term complimentary football? <laughs> offense take care of the defense, defense take care of the offense. That didn't happen on the last possession. This is a chance for them to pick themselves back up and help their team. Yeah, we'll see if they can recoup and recover. Now Bell. Up past the 25 to the 26, a gain of five. But you've got to give kudos to your offensive line and the guy carrying the ball because they were in a second and long situation. It seemed pretty dire, but they brought it back to third and manageable with that run. So following the run, we'll see what they do here on third down. The wide receiver moving to a new spot. Here's Roethlisberger. And that is incomplete. Let's give some credit to the defensive guys on that play. Able to bat that one away. Sure looked like they were trying to hit the corner route. And no move to get the offense off the field. They're going on fourth and five. Brown, the lone receiver left. Here we go. 130. They'll indeed go for it with Roethlisberger. And he's got Rodgers. 22 yards on the pickup there. And on fourth down, they're able to convert and move the sticks. I don't know if I agree with that. I guess they don't care if I agree with that. But, boy, you have to be surprised by that, right? I definitely was surprised that they decided to go for it in this situation. But they must have either felt like they either had a great play call on or they're trying to show extreme confidence. In motion is Coates. On first down, it's Roethlisberger. And he just gets rid of it, throws it away. The wise move there looked like nobody open. Now second down. Shift together here from the D-line. I hope I don't sound too rah-rah on that one, but that's the exact right throw. Either your receiver... Now Ben hit, and he lost the football. And nothing but green grass here, middle of the field. And this is going to be brought back. It's a scoop and score for the Falcon TD. And give some kudos to the defensive coordinator, I think, here. They bring the blitz, they dial it up, and it turns into six points for them. It's so nice to hear you actually give kudos to the defense. It is so nice to such an offensive guy like that. I love it. He dialed things up, and boy, a big play resulted for his guys. Well, you like the credit to the defense there, right, my friend? Yeah, you do, do I ever. So here's the kickoff now as he'll get it again following that fumble return for a score. This will be taken short. And this will get out of bounds. No worries there, though. That still goes as a touchback. And the Steelers set to take the field. And on the outside, they're playing press coverage. They'll run it now out of the gun. Only a couple there as he'll be brought down about the 28. Desmond Trufant there making the tackle. Now Roethlisberger to throw on second down. This is Bell on the dump off. And he'll be brought down right at the 30 here. They'll get a couple yards on that one. And that's going to bring up a third down. Easy, easy. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he'll be limited to a short gain up to about the 34-yard line. Four yards on the pick up there, but it's going to take him to fourth down. When a good play is made on defense, oftentimes leverage is the key to everything. Defensive line not getting turned, all the other guys making sure they're in the right spot, and on that play, they were able to stop them short of a first down. Wheaton will come in motion right. Now it's Roethlisberger. And this is incomplete. So certainly an interesting call there to go for it. And the Falcons will take control of the football in great 
field position. So they take a big, big chance here in their own territory. And you think the coach may have some questions to answer? Yeah, and, you know, normally we focus on the media, right, the social media barrage that he's going to get for this one. How about on his own sideline and in his locker room? Because yeah. I think the team's going to look at my coach. Why would we go for it there? Second down, here's Ryan. His throw caught at about the five. And they do get him down, but he's inside the five all the way to the three. Over 1,400 yards last year for Jones. Just six touchdowns, but, you know, of course he had the big 300-yard game. However, when he was blanketed with coverage, he always opens things up for other guys, doesn't he? He does, and that's what's benefited Atlanta's offense. Other guys were able to step up. In 2016, Mohamed Sanu stepped up and had his best year as a pro. Austin Hooper as a young tight end really developed down the stretch. And Taylor Gabriel, who had come over as a free agent from Cleveland, he really flourished, actually led the team in touchdown catches. But there's only one Julio Jones, and you want to get the ball to him as much as possible. Now after the touchdown, it's Bosher to kick it away. This is taken about seven yards deep. And they'll put up the stop sign there as his guys will get it at the 25. The Steelers offense now, they head back onto the field. And last time out, went for it on fourth down, turned it over, gave him great field position, turned him six points, so they've got to recover here, Charles. It's amazing what one decision can do in the chain of events, right? The decision to go for it on fourth down. Caused all of that. It caused every bit of it, but it showed confidence. Hey, I've got confidence in you guys. Go pick it up for them. Didn't happen. Also showed confidence in the defense. They didn't pick up their end of the bargain. So now they've got to come back out and start over and rebuild that confidence. They go play action here on first down. He's got time. And this one caught by Coates. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. There we go, D2. Two, two. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he takes it across midfield to the 45. Eight yards on the pickup, and now they'll have some options on second and short. In motion is Coates. On second down, here's Roethlisberger. And seeing nowhere to throw, he chucks this one away from harm. Incomplete. Now it's third down. Let's face it, perfection is something we all chase, whether it's playing this game or whatever we do. Hard to attain, but that's what they were searching for as that pass goes incomplete. In motion left is Rodgers. Third and two. Now Roethlisberger. He's got his man here. It's green. And into the end zone. Touchdown, Pittsburgh. Ladarius Green. 44 yards, and the Steelers are able to close the gap just a bit. It's up, it's good, and that'll cut the lead to 21 to 7. Boswell now to kick it away after the touchdown. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And the decision to bring it out, a good one, as he's up a yard or two shy of the 30. Atlanta now coming out on the field. And that recipe on their last drive that resulted in a touchdown looked pretty good, so they'll be hoping to do that once more. And it takes me back to when we sat with the offense coordinator and the head coach. They felt pretty good about their game plan, and 
Thought there were some holes in the defense, and they exploited them the last time out. Let's see if they can come back and put together a similar drive. And we'll see if they can do just that. Escaping the pressure right. Now he's going to throw deep right side. That's caught inside the 20. And he is into the end zone for a Falcon touchdown. Julio Jones, 71 yards. And the Falcons will add on to their lead. And he puts it through. Well, looking down at my game card here, that's five drives now for them and four touchdowns. I think anybody would take an 80% ratio. I'm sure that they would, but if you flip it over to the other side of the ball, what are they going to hang their hat on? There was one possession. They held them to no score whatsoever. That's what they're going to try and build on and try and slow this team down. And Pittsburgh getting set to take the field. And that last drive, a long drive, but not just that. They had a great air attack going. Do they stick with that? I would think that they would because if they were competent enough to do it on the last drive, starting backed up in their own territory, why would you change anything? They've got to be confident about what they're presenting and continue to do so. Yeah, because the secondary, they really look clueless. And that was amazing because that drive went and went. No adjustments and no big plays by the defense to knock the ball away. They'll throw on first down with Roethlisberger. And seeing no options, he just tosses this one away incomplete. Now that'll bring up second down. All right, different topic here. 2018, the Super Bowl traveling north, far north to Minneapolis. Early, early, early predictions for that one. Who you got? Well, you know, everyone's still waiting in the NFL for a home team to play in its yeah. home stadium, right? So could the Vikings be that team? I'll start in the NFC, and I'm going to say no. I think Seattle. Starting to get near that maybe last run with their defense. Burrow Thomas returns. I like Seattle coming out of the NFC. How about you? Well, I'm actually going to take a Dallas Cowboys NFC title run. I think that they came so close this year, probably most talented going into next year. I like that one. Well, in the AFC, I'm going to go with a team that if they improve their defense and their quarterback stays healthy, they could be that team, the Oakland Raiders. Okay, I'm going dark horse. Cleveland Browns. Uh, let's like go. Hey, from worst to, to first. first. Into a double team, and it's intercepted. A great read, and it's picked off. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Atlanta now coming out on the field. And following that long touchdown pass, a one-play drive last time. To see if the defense, you, you know they're ready. They don't want that to happen again. And you would have thought they would have been ready the yeah, last time. I mean, true. that's what you work on all the time. Make sure that no one gets behind you. That's the cardinal sin of defense, not giving up the long pass. They did. Let's see how they adjust. To me, that's a superior play by the backer because he was allowed to, I think, run free on it and make that play. Those defensive linemen, they cover things down for him because offensive guys, the linemen, what they're trying to do, as you know, is block the guy at the point of attack and then climb to the next level and get the yeah. linebacker. And you're not allowed to climb. You got a free hitter, and that's what we saw there. And a really nice play resulted for them. He's going to go for a big play down. It's caught inside the 25. And he's in for the touchdown on the final play of the first half. The prayer is answered. How did they get that done? And they extend their lead a little added cushion into the lockers. What a way to finish. Tremendous way. And now due to apparent time constraints, we fast forward to the beginning of the second half. Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. That's fielded in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. run anticipation here as the D-line sandwiches together. Third quarter starts with a run by Freeman. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. And once again, leverage wins. The offensive line lower than the defensive front. They moved them and found some good space for the guy carrying the ball. On second down, Ryan. And it's hauled in by Austin Hooper. And he'll take it into the end zone. Touchdown, Atlanta. 
Austin Hooper, 67 yards, and the Falcons add on. When they drew that up, I don't think they envisioned it ending in a house call, but he got it and took it all the way home. Really impressive run after the catch, wasn't it? That was, a, that was really special by him. But let's face it, in today's NFL, those tight ends are often former wide receivers or maybe even sometimes bigger running backs. They just put them in a position to get a great matchup and make plays like that. Now we take a glance at the offense as they work their way back out for their first possession of the second half. They trail offense, first time to touch the ball in quarter three, and we'll see what they can do. And I can't wait to see what they have planned because some teams script to start a half. Other teams just go, okay, these are the sequence of plays we want to run. These things worked well for us. And sometimes they throw in that big chunk play right away. <laughs> Shocker. <laughs> try and get after them early and try and create a big play to give themselves some momentum. See what they have up their sleeve. They'll run it now, out of the gun. Fights forward for only about a yard up to the 21. Vic Beasley able to make the tackle. Tough day, tough sledding right there, and it's been that way the entire game. Not a whole lot of room to ramble for him. Yeah, you're right, it's been that way all afternoon. Didn't get a whole lot better there. Boy, and now they can't even get a playoff. The offense behind the chains after the infraction. It's now third down and 14. In motion left is Rodgers. Now Ben on third and long. And caught right side, Green. And down he'll go at the 25. So they're going to come to the line here, and it appears try to go for it on fourth. There we go on fourth down with Roethlisberger. And it is incomplete. Boy, a curious decision to go for it doesn't pan out. And the Falcons will take control of the football in great field position. A gutsy decision there at this stage in the second half in their own territory and a decision that they might regret. Can't wait for the postmortem. You know, this postgame press conference, because the questions are going to come fast and furious about this decision, no matter how the, how the game turns out, right? What were you thinking there? Why did you have a certain play call? Did, were you confident in your defense? Oh, yeah. Why? <laughs> it's going to keep coming up. Yeah, no matter the scoreboard, just tough to justify. And they'll get him down just shy of the goal line at about the one. That gets him three yards closer here as it brings up the second and goal. Well, Brennan, we always know that once you score one touchdown, you you're, want two. <laughs> you're without a doubt. And so far today, he's got one, but was denied as he tried to get the second one. They hold him again, and now all of a sudden, it's third and goal at the one. Back now in Pittsburgh. So they held him out on second down, and now here's third and goal. On third and one, right? And this is caught for a Falcon touchdown. Devontae Freeman. He scored on the ground and through the air. Just a bunch of poor boys, daddies, girls, children of the cornfield trying to turn. Just 
a bunch of John Deere junkies getting funky to some old hang. Nothing been stuck in the mud that we came. Hook up to rusty chain in the sun or in the rain. Yeah, it's the kind of thing you know.
clock is broken Never stopping, never slowing Yeah, we're living wide open Unwinding every moment Like the clock is broken Never stopping, never slowing Yeah, we're living wide open We, we know, we know we are Brighter than all the stars As long as we're together We'll stay young forever We, we make, we make the rules Break them when we want to Don't break them As long as we're together Forever, forever Forever, forever forever Tonight, we ain't going out, so we invited everybody. The d- made, well, they're way too strong, but ain't nobody saying sorry. The speaker's so blown, no one knows what it is, but we keep it on repeat because we don't want it to end. We got the rest of our lives for the rest of our lives. The rest of tonight for whatever feels right We're doing it our way Just acting our age One day we'll look back just shaking our heads But right now we're too fast to slow down just yet We're doing it our way Just acting our age Just acting our Just met, but we're acting like we go back. It's 3 a.m., but we ain't done yet. Trying our best to make it last. The freedom running through us like an open. We're too high on being young and there's still to raise. We've got the rest of our lives for the rest of our lives. And the rest of Tonight 